Porsche, an automotive name synonymous with luxury, speed, and timeless design, now finds itself navigating the troubled waters of financial crisis. Oliver Bloom, the CEO, recently shocked the automotive world with the revelation that the company is facing significant financial challenges. But what could possibly have pushed this automotive titan to the brink? For decades, Porsche has stood out in the automotive industry with its iconic 911, a symbol of performance and luxury, alongside other models such as the Cayenne, Panamera, and Macan. The brand's essence of engineering excellence and high-performance luxury has allowed it to command a price premium and a loyal following. So the announcement has not only surprised industry analysts, but also loyalists who see Porsche as invincible in its niche. The global automotive landscape is rapidly changing. Electrification, digitization, and the push for sustainability have taken center stage. Tesla's meteoric rise in the EV market with models like the Model S, Model 3, and the Roadster disrupted traditional automotive strongholds. Established giants like Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen embarked on aggressive strategies to compete in the EV market, investing billions. Even luxury brands like Audi, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW accelerated their electrification agendas, releasing models like the e-tron, EQC, and i4, respectively. Amidst this, Porsche launched the Taycan, its first all-electric car. But perhaps the onslaught of competition and the required infrastructure changes have strained Porsche's financial coffers. Furthermore, global economic shifts also played a role in Porsche's predicament. Trade tensions, supply chain disruptions due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and semiconductor shortages have rattled the automotive industry as a whole. Companies had to halt production, deal with inventory challenges, and navigate volatile market demands. For a brand like Porsche, which relies heavily on precision and timely delivery of high-quality components, these disruptions could have had a more pronounced impact. Comparing Porsche's strategy to its peers offers more insights. While many car makers diversified their portfolios, expanded to emerging markets and collaborated on technology sharing deals, Porsche retained a rather narrow focus. Brands like Volkswagen and Toyota expanded their presence in rapidly growing markets like China, India, and Brazil, while Porsche largely maintained its strongholds in North America and Europe. This lack of diversification might have limited its ability to offset losses in one market with gains in another. Another angle to consider is the aggressive spending by other luxury car manufacturers. Lamborghini, Ferrari, and McLaren, while playing in a slightly different space, have continually expanded their lineup, delved into merchandise, and explored unique revenue streams like theme parks and brand collaborations. They've also been quick to adopt hybrid technologies, which, while not fully electric, cater to an audience that desires performance with a touch of eco-consciousness. Porsche, on the other hand, might have been slightly late to adapt, banking heavily on its legacy and traditional customer base. Porsche's legacy is undeniably strong. The roaring engines of the 911 on the Autobahn, the racetrack successes, and the glitz and glamour associated with owning a Porsche are parts of a legacy that's hard to tarnish. However, Legacy alone cannot insulate a brand from the rapidly evolving external environment. The nostalgia of a 911 GT3's revving engine might not resonate as strongly with the new generation seeking sustainable, technologically advanced vehicles. While the Taycan is a commendable step in the direction of electrification, one can argue it might have come a tad late. So where does Porsche go from here? Bloom's revelation is not a nail in the coffin, but a clarion call for rejuvenation. Perhaps it's time for Porsche to not just innovate in terms of product offerings, but also rethink its global strategy. Collaborations, mergers, or even diversification could be on the cards. Brands like Aston Martin have diversified into luxury real estate and Bentley has ventured into experiences and branded residences. Such forays can not only provide alternative revenue streams, but also strengthen the brand's luxury appeal. In the realm of collaborations, Porsche could consider technology sharing or even co-development of EV platforms. This would not only reduce R&D costs, but also accelerate its electrification journey. Brands like Toyota and BMW have previously collaborated on projects, leveraging each other's strengths. Given the ongoing financial troubles, such partnerships could be a lifesaver for Porsche. Indeed, the road ahead for Porsche might seem daunting, but it's essential to remember that this is a brand that has faced adversity before and emerged stronger. 
Born from the ashes of World War II, Porsches rise from a small garage in Gmünd, Austria, to a global automotive powerhouse is the stuff of legends. Their story is peppered with tales of innovation, determination, and an unwavering commitment to engineering excellence. But the current financial turmoil is not just about figures on a balance sheet, it's about recalibrating a brand for a new age. The automotive zeitgeist is shifting with consumers becoming more environmentally conscious and technologically dependent. Today's luxury car buyer is as concerned about a vehicle's carbon footprint as they are about its zero, 60 acceleration. And while the seductive purr of a naturally aspirated Porsche engine has its charm, the silent instant torque delivery of an electric motor is increasingly becoming the new benchmark for performance. The younger demographic, a crucial segment for luxury brands, is reshaping the market. Their priorities and values, molded by the digital age and a heightened awareness of global issues, are different from previous generations. For them, brands like Tesla or Lucid are not just alternatives to traditional luxury marks. They embody the fusion of technology and sustainability, two pillars that are increasingly defining luxury. Moreover, this demographic is challenging the very ethos of car ownership. The rise of ride-sharing platforms and the allure of subscription-based ownership models are disrupting traditional sales. Brands like Volvo and Cadillac have already dipped their toes in these waters with services that let customers switch cars as per their needs without the long-term commitment of ownership. Given these profound changes, Porsche's comeback strategy should be twofold address the immediate financial concerns, and chart a visionary path that aligns with the evolving market. The former might necessitate tough decisions, be it shedding non-core assets, restructuring operations, or even seeking financial bailouts. However, it's the latter, the visionary path, that will define Porsche's place in the annals of automotive history. Could we see Porsche delve deeper into the realm of digital services and mobility solutions? Could there be a focus on creating a more comprehensive ecosystem around the Porsche ownership experience, encompassing everything from charging solutions to digital concierge services? Given the brand's penchant for innovation, such endeavors aren't out of the realm of possibility. Furthermore, Porsche's racing pedigree offers a unique advantage. Motorsport has often been the crucible for testing and developing cutting-edge automotive technologies. With Formula E gaining traction as the premier electric racing series, Porsche could leverage its participation to develop and showcase next-gen EV technologies. This not only aligns with the brand's racing DNA, but also positions it as a front-runner in the electrification race. Lastly, Porsche's unparalleled brand equity is its ace card. Even in these trying times, the allure of the Porsche crest, that proud black horse on a gold backdrop, is undiminished. It's a symbol of aspiration, performance, and luxury. By intertwining this legacy with a forward-looking vision, Porsche can not only overcome its current challenges, but also set the stage for a future as illustrious as its past. In conclusion, Porsche's financial challenges are indicative of the broader shifts in the automotive industry and the global economy. The landscape is more competitive, with legacy brands and new entrants vying for a slice of the market. Challenges like supply chain disruptions, changing consumer preferences, and rapid technological advancements have made it imperative for brands to be agile. Porsche, with its rich history and legacy, is more than capable of weathering this storm. It requires a combination of staying true to its roots while boldly navigating the winds of change. Only time will tell how this automotive titan reclaims its position but given its history of resilience and innovation, one can be hopeful about its future. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.